So, what do we think? Obviously, um, I gave I my think thoughts. I feel squished. Yeah. I'm yeah. Excited. Ryan, I want to hear from you first. I want to hear snuggle, from you first, snuggle. Ryan. I will have definitive, Xbox just wrapped. I will have definitive <laughs> answers after we see PlayStation because it's like you got to compare one to the other. You sure. got to compare As one now, to the other. So how is how is that fair for Microsoft when they have to go first every year, man? Life's not fair. That's what life I Life isn't <laughs> fair. I like life it. is strange, life isn't fair. Yeah, we're we out here. It's a tough it's a tough world. We're competing in this industry and Sony is smart for going second for sure. Yeah. Um cuz they can definitely adjust. So, Sea of Thieves uh, you guys talk me into it is the best way to say it. Sea of Thieves looks good. See it. Yeah. Sea of Thieves looks <laughs> sea of Thieves. good. So if it does come out, we're not 100% sure yet. Until, until I see it, I'll believe it. I'm buying it. Until it's, it's in stores. Early, early 2018. Until it's in stores. Another February game. Yeah. Correct. Until it's in stores. Cuphead. Looking forward to Cuphead. Cuphead That'll looks cool. amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Correct. No, honestly though, I love when they do like early 2018 yeah. or like you know, spring or something like that because it's just like, well, I guess early is September this year. You know, <laughs> well, I guess spring is December because yeah. they always do stuff like that and yeah. then they yeah. don't have this date locked down and then they're like, oh, the unforeseen, you know, thing they need to expand on, whatever else. Right. So. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Crackdown was 2018 too, wasn't it? Crackdown Early 2018. No, Crackdown been... is November 7th. Yeah, Crackdown. I was going to say that Crackdown yeah, launches with the Xbox One X. Okay, yeah. we knew about Crackdown since like when the Xbox One was being announced. I feel like forever we've known we've about known Crackdown. About Crackdown. Well, yeah, they, they like said that they were going to release like multiplayer only content two yeah. E3s ago. Now yeah. I'm going to say this though: if they include like a Halo Six multiplayer beta with oh Crackdown God. Three, <laughs> have to get Perfect. it. Perfect. You got to get it just for the nostalgia. What was 343's announcement? Uh, we didn't see it. It was yeah. so small. It did we did not it. show up. <laughs> yeah. So I think that three four three. Correct me if I'm wrong. They have their own show. Yeah. Um, that it's part of like Square Enix and a bunch of other people are grouped in tomorrow. Oh, for the if I'm not mistaken, the PC gaming show. It's oh, like right. in between the PC gaming oh, show or sense. part of the PC gaming show. I think Square Enix. I don't think. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they said that there would be announcements from a few different developers, and three four three was on that list. Okay. So, but it's crazy to think that. You have Anthem taking such a huge spot. Yeah. And you have, they had to at least tease a little bit sure. during their during, press conference yeah, yesterday. For yesterday for you EA. know, e- EAs. Yep. So you would think that 343 would do a similar thing, but if it really is a little something, maybe yeah. it's too little. That little tease is all, you yeah. know what I mean? It's all they can afford. It's definitely not Halo 3 anniversary because it would have been in this conference. Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> now, Xbox One X. Four ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine November seventh. How do you 7th feel if you're Sony right now? I went wait out here for Dominic. You don't have an Xbox One. You saw Forza Seven. You're a fan of. Yeah, you're totally excited you're saying, for Forza. Yeah, your computer's starting to fall behind. That's also on, you know, PC. Exactly. And if it's gonna be five hundred dollars. I can definitely get by with a four hundred dollar graphics card. That's what I mean. So Xbox. I just want to hear from somebody who their computer. So, would you rather go with the graphics card? Other I'd than probably rather go with PC gaming, anyways. Yeah. Because well, here's the thing. Take everything, that Microsoft. everything that they showed. Well, it's not really to was Microsoft. Xbox yeah, Play anywhere. Everything yeah. that's on Xbox One X is also playable right. on PC. Yeah, right. Um, so that's where you get into this point where it's like, okay, so they made their controller Bluetooth, yes. so it hooks up to any PC pretty much. Yes. Yeah. They made they priced their console so that I mean, an aggressive graphics card you can get by for a hundred dollars less. Right. Yeah. So what you know, what audience are they trying to capture? You know, what's yeah, the people that not the people that don't have an Xbox One, maybe your Xbox fanboys, which Xbox I would consider family. myself. I guess, yeah, that's not yeah. Good. yeah the hardcore you know, Xbox, any of us here, it's you. And you're family. and you're and I guess people that don't have a P, the know how first of all, right. and then don't have a PC that they can put a four hundred dollar graphics card in and make it that much better. Sure, you know, your people that already have PCs, it seems like they're already kind of bought in. They're already skeptical about consoles, whatever yeah. else, yeah. but. You know, you guys spent how much on your towers and your motherboards and sure. your, you know, RAM. Bought off Craigslist. So. All the other stuff. <laughs> did I, I swear to God, the tower I did. Okay. No. You can't get rid of those. That's why. Because once you have it, you've got no other avenue than, like, somebody lowballing you on the internet. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> gotcha. true. Because who wants to buy a pre-owned, like, case or whatever else? I do. Right. Unless you buy a lowball from someone else. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. But, but the yeah, size I mean, is impressive, too. Smallest? Yeah, smallest Xbox, most powerful Xbox. Yeah. So, I mean, for your people walking into the store that don't already have, like, an Xbox, yeah. looking at that 249 price point and then looking at that $500 price point for a smaller box that has the 4K compatibility. Yeah, that's I mean, too it, hard to justify. You know, you had people buying, you had your, like, rollover people buying PS3s back in the day because it was like, well, it's a Blu-ray player and Blu-ray players are 500 bucks right now. You yeah, know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. So we don't really have something that just does 4K. Right. So I think they're kind of banking on some of that. 
Sure. Um, as like a 4K entertainment device, even though they didn't say, you know, TV, television, entertainment. That's good. They kept yeah. all TV stuff out of this yeah. press yeah. conference. Yeah, no, TV, they TV, kept TV. It out of the pre- They kept it out of the <laughs> press conference, but it's still there. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's still, still under the surface there. You can still download Netflix on this, you know, 12%, whatever. They released those statistics yeah. of all time spent on the Xbox is done on Netflix. Yeah. And Netflix is going to support 4K. Sure. So, you know, on the Xbox One X... Uh, they've got that, got that lined <laughs> That's up. That's a new thing. And I missed, I missed the announcement because I was coming home from work. But yeah. did they have like a 4K transition into an X? Because there would be an easy way they to make not. that K just like bend it a little bit and four fades off into the back. They, they need a cool transition. They did not do that. <laughs> Maybe next year. No, Maybe next Xbox year. 4K, man. Yeah. I, I got to be the closest without going over on that one. We'll see. Yeah. Well, wait, let's run through the games too, though. Started with Forza Horizon. Yeah. So we Forza started. Horizon. We started with Forza Motorsport Seven. Now, there's so think? much to run Horizon through. Forza yeah, and we gotta hit games. the. We gotta hit the highlights. We gotta hit the highlights. Oh yeah, that's cool. Boy, Forza Motorsport Seven. You intrigued by it? I mean, yeah, I'm. I've been a fan. I'm always a fan. And the desert environment. No, I want to. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, pick number one game from this press conference, exclusive or no. Anthem. Sea of Thieves. Anthem, Anthem. I'm sorry, yeah. Anthem. Anthem. I'm going like with Anthem. Anthem. Okay. I'm going with Anthem. Life is Strange, the prequel for me. Life is Strange, Easily. the prequel. Anthem I'm going to go Sea of Thieves. me away. Okay. But secondary, you go Sea of Thieves? Yeah, probably. Anthem. Secondary, I would go Anthem. So, and that's an exclusive title. And Crackdown 3, honestly, I the trailer was kind of weird. You know I what liked I mean? It, it came well, in. Shout it came out to the last with, night, too. Did you see the last night? The last night looked yeah. real good. It was good. Yeah. But, but they had like Terry Crews come in and it was live action mm-hmm. and he did a great job on his delivery and everything else. But it's like, wait, what am I watching? And then right. they showed like very little gameplay yep. and it's for a game that they've been working on for how long now? Yep. Like that should have been the gameplay and it's coming trailer, out not like Sea of Thieves, right. which right. we already have multiple gameplay trailers on. Yeah. yeah. No, you I know, agree. they showed a little bit more and they, it was well executed. It was good, but you have this time for the spotlight and you gave it to a game you've already given so much spotlight to. Yeah, I agree. You know, where you could have showcased this game that it's like, dude, this comes out November 7th. That's one of the closest games as far as exclusive titles on the list. I mean, you yeah. have Cuphead a little bit before. Yeah, Cuphead September you know, 29th, which I'm very excited for that. I'm glad but for it's other, finally out of date. Not just timed <laughs> exclusives, but exclusives. Yeah, should be on the What's Switch. before Crackdown? And we saw almost none of the game. Just Forza, yeah. So that to They're me is a little bit... keeping that train rolling. That's a little bit, you know, concerning, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to see more of that because I loved the first Crackdown and I loved the second Crackdown too. I really too. liked the yeah. first one. Um, it was a great multiplayer game. And we talked about this yesterday for the EA press conference, how we're going to see more couch more co-op. Couch we're going to see back. more yeah. co-op yep. coming back because people are looking for this stuff. So yep. that's a traditionally co-op game. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you're playing it with other people. So... Kind of a letdown there for me, but yeah. definitely see a thieves for stuff that they showcased, and that was a big letdown for yeah. Crackdown for me. And special special more. shout out to Metro Exodus. Um, I'm excited yeah, to see really another. Good. I'm excited to see special another. Special shout out really to the Metro collections on sale on Steam right now. If you want to <laughs> play it? <laughs> well, you've got. I think Metro um, Metro 2033. I think is on Xbox Game Pass. Oh, really? Um, if I'm be. not mistaken, yeah. they're both on backwards compatibility, and they yeah. did a re-release. Yeah. like of the of the titles. They're milking so. that thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean the Metro games, they kind of flew under the radar, but definitely but they're great games. They're mm-hmm. very good games, and they should not have flown under the radar. So uh, <laughs> glad that they gave them. That was one of the first slots. Yeah, that I was mean, the second, second game slot they that they showed. Second so thing. glad that they gave them some spotlight there. Yeah. Glad they got a crossbow that makes a gun sound when you shoot it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Um, gotta have that. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously we moved into Assassin's Creed, which looks. Oh yeah, uh, that Origins definitely. Yeah, that that was. I'm that. surprised you didn't pick that as your. I totally forgot title. about it. Yeah. How That's, did? Yeah, it was overwhelming. But you know Exodus I mean? was, or not Exodus, um. Anthem, Anthem was like they showed it last, and that's the one that's fresh yeah. in the memory where yeah. Anthem was. But a Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed's up there. Is probably were, top yeah, three. You were up there. That's that would be cool. Camels, man. Yeah. It's all about camels. all gold, everything. Camel, you know camel, what I mean? Camel. Yeah. <laughs> now, most realistic part from this conference by I mean like seeing something in gameplay. Mm, seeing something in gameplay. That, like, be, oh, that was realistic. Shout out to the treasure chest floating. In <laughs> See? <laughs> um, no, what, uh, what was the game that they showed that looked a lot like Massive Chalice or whatever as far as the art style and stuff mm. like that? Ashen or whatever? Ashen, yeah. 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 Ashen. Like, yeah. we just got almost no information on that. There was no release date tied to right. it. It was just like, yeah. you know. I what was the game I that just was have like, Ashen written down. Release dates, when we damn well please or whatever. Was that Ashen or was that a different? No, one? no, no. That no, was that was one. the Artful Escape. Yeah, yeah. That was the yeah. Artful Escape. 
Bold move. So that but, was right after the last night, which looked really cool. Yeah. Um, I want to go through the questions real quick here because I feel like I pulled a lot of them. You I feel, like you, got a, I feel like you might have got a lot of points. Uh, really knew what was going on with this <laughs> one. Uh, I pull up Google Drive. Well, I was wrong with my price of two forty nine ninety nine for the Scorpio. I got that right. I got four ninety nine. <laughs> no, I would have said five ninety nine, but it should have been three ninety nine. It should have been three ninety nine. Hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, well, only time will tell. You know what, what I mean. What about people playing Sea of Thieves? So we saw nobody playing Sea of Thieves. Yeah, zero. So I guess the answer it's zero. Whoever yeah. whoever had the low. So how many Xbox exclusive titles will we see during the press conference? Uh, I definitely took the high one on that one. I said twelve, but I think the next highest was like six or something like that. Yeah. So I said eight. So yeah, you still yeah. beat me though. It still got you. Yeah. Um, three for three. We didn't see. We didn't see a game that was yeah, announced that will release this fall, yet, so we're still waiting. Yeah. Sony. Bethesda tonight. All Bethesda eyes on tonight. Yeah, or Bethesda. Bethesda. Yeah. Starbound. Oh, What's it called? Starfield. 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 Yeah, release yeah. now. No Sonic Forces. Right now. Too bad. Nope. Uh, no ethnicities. ethnicities. I said zero, so whoever had the low one on that, we'll have to look at the rundown. Um, I didn't I didn't cringe. Not one time during not, that event. Not yet. So, did anyone cringe? Price point, maybe? Yeah, that could yeah, be a cringe price, price point. Yeah. When you're like, ooh, four ninety nine. When the point. guy messed up at the beginning, he was like, Xbox. Remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he, yeah, didn't say, he didn't say Xbox. He was like, Xbox. He had a, he had an a crazy accent. accent. An accent. Crazy he started accent. to say Xbox, it sounded like. <laughs> it, wasn't, no, it wasn't the accent. He tripped over it, but right up between the X and the box, and that totally just yeah. needed it Yeah, that's what I said. The he Xbox One X, like naming it this, so many people yeah. stumbled over it. The word stumbled. So it written, I guess it makes sense, and when you shorten it, it's still just Xbox, so that's neat. Yeah. You know, because you have Xbox, you know, X, B, so now one, it goes X, like... Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox. We're doing yeah. good here. We're yeah. Doing, we're we're not better. palindromic yet or anything. We're getting better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, final name for the project, Scorpio. Nobody got it. But I think I was closest without going over with Xbox 4K. Because, because you could turn the you 4K could into change an X. that 4K into an X. I don't, I don't think we can give a Pros point for three that. letters. We can give it a so I'm closest on letters. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want a point for that one. For you said three. Xbox One Two, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make yeah. that transition. Xbox Maybe One Dash Two. And shout out to the guy on NeoGath that actually nailed the Xbox One X name. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, well, anyone touch the? Oh, that's a Nintendo. Didn't see Kingdom Hearts three, so Sony. No, but we did still get a trailer. We did get a trailer this morning from Kingdom Hearts. It was right, not part it was not part of, of so the So chances are, it's not going to be a Sony's conference. We're going to take a look. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it from Microsoft, all the questions yeah. from Microsoft for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we did some pretty good predictions on there. Yeah. Honestly, um, the four ninety nine price point nailed that. Um, obviously, wish it could have been less. But yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just. just as coming from someone who's going to buy the damn thing. That just goes back to those teasers, though, that everyone was trying to decode. It's not releasing on October 13th, and it's not $3.99. So those so, the teaser things we talked about, totally debunked. Debunked. Yeah. They tricked us. They tricked us, for sure. <laughs> um, In a bad way. <laughs> so what do we got? Any final thoughts about the Xbox press conference or something we can look forward to that Sony might do better? Everything. <laughs> I think the exclusive Sony is still going to do better. Yeah, exclusive. Probably games. exclusive. The orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. How do you top forty-two titles? They're, well, because not everything quality, they showed was quality, not quantity. Not everything they showed was yeah, exclusive. Yeah, point. Yeah. Not everything they showed was exclusive, but twenty something of them were at least exclusive release date, like a Tomb Raider style. You get it a whole year or months before people are going to play it. On sure. Oh no, that's true. But does that there warrant launch a five hundred dollar price point? You could buy the, Does it the work? Xbox One family of systems we are proud to <laughs> announce will incorporate all of these games, Xbox. You know what I mean? You could pay two forty nine dollars and, yeah. and play any game that sure. we saw today. Sure. Not one of them is exclusive to Scorpio. Not one of them is exclusive to Xbox One X. Okay? So, you know what I mean? You've got this low barrier to entry yeah. as far as if you're comparing it to a PC or whatever else, all you naysayers out there for like, oh, Windows 10 Play Anywhere... Why not give me more options? Why not give me no, I don't, an incentive to buy digital? That's I don't, a smart I don't, business. I don't think that more options is a well, bad yeah. thing, but like with with like you were just saying, everything's on Windows. I have a powerful PC. I'm not compelled to go out and buy an Xbox One X. Mm -hmm. They didn't give me it a reason it to buy it. It doesn't sound like they need no. you to buy an sure. Xbox One X. It's not pitched for you. It's sure. pitched to other consumers. Right. Sure. But the they, should always, think, right now, they should the always think, how can Xboxes. we get more sales? Yeah. They should always think that. That's what Sony thinks. I don't That's think, why all their titles are PS4. I, I think Sony yeah. is going to go aggressive with their pricing 
because they want to be that best-selling console and they want to have that they're, title they're for themselves. Going they're going to be. They're going to go up aggressive yep. with the pricing. And yep. as a result, they're not making the margin on the systems. So the ones that the Xbox does sell, they're making more money from Microsoft. Sure. Every time they sell, even if they sell you know, one to three or something like that. The sure. margin's got to be higher at that four ninety nine price point, unless Andy's right. Yeah, and, that's, and this thing it is doing they 4K. had to cut it from five ninety nine because they thought they were going to get killed mm -hmm. because that four K hardware mm -hmm. really is that expensive. Yeah, we don't know mm -hmm. if it's actually native four K or if it's just you know upscaling. We don't know. So we'll have to get more clarification from them to know for sure. But yeah, I mean, honestly, water and vapor cooled can't be cheap. Yeah, and it is it, vapor cooled. They it, said, yeah, it's, that it's can't be cool. cheap. Mm -hmm. Smart water is so. not cheap. You know what I mean? Exactly. They take inspiration from the clouds. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they stole the name from Nintendo though. It was NX, you know, code name Nintendo X, and now they're like, oh no, hey, we're Xbox One. <laughs> we'll, take, we'll take that X. Yeah, we're taking that X. We'll take that X. Switch. <laughs> switched it right. Well, they called it the we Xbox Revolution. They should have. No, there's a reason Nintendo switched it. But, and then this is another thing no I wanted Nintendo. to talk about comparing while we're talking about Nintendo. So Nintendo had this big issue with the Wii and the Wii U. So is that going to be still a factor? If your mom and pop going in to buy this thing in GameStop or whatever else during but the you holidays. you can't find this? No, not that you can't find no, it, like but the, the confusion yeah. factor, you know? Like, like you got, oh, no, I, have I, the, think the I have the Wii at home. Oh, I have the Xbox You have the Xbox One, you have the Xbox One X, you have the Xbox One X now. What was the price point? Was it like... 100 how much would what do you think the difference was with the Wii and Wii U the Wii and Wii U yeah like when they were both in the market at the same time 199 like, 299 okay 99. yeah I think this won't have that exact difference because going 250 to 500 is a lot different than 200 to 300 well and it's a lot different also because it's the Xbox family of consoles you know what I mean I like this. so this is <laughs> something that it'll play on whatever you got yeah so you're just looking for those extra graphics you're just looking for that extra frames per second you know what I mean yeah so it's something that it, it's it got something for everyone. They want to have it at multiple price points, and Nintendo's being smart about this too by having you know your 3DS, your or your 2DS, your 2DS XL, excuse yeah, me, and yeah. then your 3DS XL, and then your Switch. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can kind of stagger the pricing going up mm -hmm. um, to appeal to different markets. Um, we didn't see anything handheld, so nope. Microsoft kind of staying out of that market. It seems like and nothing oh. VR. Yeah, nothing VR either. So yeah. they heard that there was going to be partnership with Oculus, but yeah. what did we see today? Not a damn thing. Yeah, no VR. <laughs> Not even Fallout VR, so... Yeah, no, maybe but it, we will see that tonight, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah, at Bethesda. Right. Not for sure. Maybe Fallout VR isn't a real thing. Maybe they just Maybe made it everyone up. just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Looking over at Bethesda. We'll find out in a few hours. So... <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Well, I think that pretty much does it for our Xbox post show. Yeah. Um, thanks for anyone that hang, uh, hung out with us during the stream. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing them all week for all the E3 press conferences, yeah. uh, hopefully with less technical issues. Yeah, apologies for all the issues we ran into. We're going to go off air for a bit, try to get everything worked out, and we'll be back tonight for Bethesda. Yeah, we got until midnight. Yeah. <laughs> Five <laughs> hours. And we will see you then. See ya. See ya, thieves. See ya, thieves. <laughs>